think I know who that is. Mr. Rogers? Hey, Jeff. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Hi. Thank you very much for coming by. I asked Jeff, this is my friend Jeff Erlinger. He's one of my neighbors here. And I asked him if he would come by today because I wanted you to meet him and I wanted you to see his electric wheelchair. We'd been talking about uh, uh, electric cars and all kinds of things we've been thinking about this week. Uh, would you show me how you make your chair go? Okay, sure. All right. Well, first, this is the Adidas switch. And mm -hmm. I blew this up to turn it on. Okay. And... You're the one who makes it go. Right. Did it take a long time to learn how? No, not really. I had the wheelchairs, and that only took... My first electric wheelchair only took me about a day to learn how to use it. Gee, that's wonderful. Jeff, you, your mom and dad must be really proud of you. I'm sure they are. Yeah. Well, I know I am. Now, uh, can you tell my friends what it is that made you need this wheelchair? Sure. Well, when I was about seven months old, I had um, I had a tumor, and it broke the nerves to tell my hands and legs what to do. I see. And they tried to cut the tumor, but they did, couldn't get it, and I became handicapped and I got a wheelchair when I was four years old. That was your first one mm -hmm. when you were four. Uh-huh. Do you remember that? Yeah, sort of. You must have some mighty good doctors who've been taking care uh -huh. of you. Can you tell me any of your doctor's names? Yeah, I have a pediatrician, Dr. Hansen who works in Madison, St. Mary's Hospital, and then at UW, I have the bone doctor is Dr. Breed, who takes care of the bones, I guess, because he's a bone so. doctor. Uh -huh. Anyway, I had surgery earlier this summer because I have pain in my s stomach called autonomic dysreflexia and I just what was that autonomic word? dysreflexia I'm not exactly sure what it means but you sure can say it yeah anyway so I had a surgery done just recently mm -hmm. to try and cut this finger because it's holding my urine in mm -hmm. so well you have a lot of things going on when you're this just shows you have a lot of things happen to you when you're handicapped, but most of the time. But, and uh, sometimes it happens when you're not handicapped. Of course. But you're able to talk about those things. Yeah. So well, and help other people mm -hmm. who might have the same kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know that song that I sometimes sing called It's You I Like? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I'd like to sing that to you and with you. Okay, okay? sure. It's you I like. It's not the things you wear. It's not the way you do your hair. But it's you I like. The way you are right now. The way down deep inside you. Not the things that hide you. Not your fancy chair. <laughs> That's just it's beside you. But it's you, I, I like every part of you. Your skin, 
your eyes your feeling when they're old or new i hope that you remember even when you're feeling blue that it's you i like it's you yourself it's you it's you And there must be times when you do feel blue. Uh-huh. What do you do th during those times? Well, it depends. Sometimes do you make up stories? Yeah. Or read? Yeah. Or play? I know that's the way I did when I was a little boy. Had all kinds of things that did I would Did it help? Do. It did help. Yeah. Does it help you? Yeah. We have to all discover our own ways, don't we? Mm hmm Of doing things when we're feeling blue. Mm hmm I'm not feeling blue right now, though. Me neither. <laughs> I'm so glad that you came today. Thanks. Thank you. And I hope you'll come back to visit again. Okay. Will you? Yeah. And will you give your mom and dad my best? Sure. Because they are sure great people. Uh-huh. Bye. Bye-bye, Jeff. I'll watch you as you go. Please welcome Jeffrey Erlinger. It is hard. I'm so glad to see you. Oh, thank you for coming. My pleasure. Oh. Uh, what a surprise. <laughs> it's, a, it's an honor to be here tonight, to be part of your proud mom this proud moment. You know, when, when you tell people that it's you I it's you I like, you we know that you really mean it. And tonight I wanna let you know that on behalf of millions of children and grown-ups, it is you that I like. Absolutely. Okay. Well, yeah. to Jeff Erlinger and all of the uh, all of the wonderful neighbors who have grown up with our neighborhood. This this was, of course, completely unexpected and what a what a wonderful gift and I thank the Academy for allowing this to happen uh, Jeff and I haven't been together for a while we met when he was I think four years old five, five. such good neighbors well this is what I wanted to tell you before I knew that I'd have this great gift tonight fame is a four-letter word and like tape or zoom or face or pain or life or love what ultimately matters is what we do with it i feel that those of us in television are chosen to be servants it doesn't matter what our particular job we are chosen to help meet the deeper needs of those who watch and listen day and night. The conductor of the orchestra at the Hollywood Bowl grew up in a family that had little interest in music, but he often tells people he found his early inspiration from the fine musicians on television. Last month, a 13-year-old boy 
abducted an eight-year-old girl. And when people ask him why, he said he learned about it on TV. Something different to try, he said. Life's cheap. What does it matter? Well, life isn't cheap. It's the greatest mystery of any millennium, and television needs to do all it can to broadcast that, to show and tell what the good in life is all about. But how do we make goodness attractive? By doing whatever we can to bring courage to those whose lives move near our own, by treating our neighbor at least as well as we treat ourselves, and allowing that to inform everything that we produce. Who in your life has been such a servant to you? Who has helped you love the good that grows within you? Let's just take 10 seconds to think of some of those people who have loved us, and wanted what was best for us in life. Those who have encouraged us to become who we are tonight. Just 10 seconds of silence. I'll watch the time. No matter where they are, either here or in heaven. Imagine how pleased those people must be to know that you thought of them right now. We all have only one life to live on earth, and through television, we have the choice of encouraging others to demean this life or to cherish it in creative, imaginative ways. On behalf of all of us at Family Communications and the Public Broadcasting Service, I thank you for all the good that you do in this unique enterprise and for wanting our neighborhood to be a part of the celebration tonight. Thank you very much.